Hello, in this video um, I will show you how to build a UML model and uh, generate the ADA code and SQL database schemas. Um, so first in your UML model you will create several packages, uh, the demo package and a models package. The model package will have a data model stereotype that will trigger the uh, ADA code generation. This model will create a UML class diagram and we will create our first table or class. Uh, this will be a simple question and answer application. So the question class is assigned the table stereotype so that it will trigger the generation of ADA code and SQL files. We'll add some attributes the ID, which is the primary key for um, the database. We will assign the primary key stereotype to this attribute. We will create other attributes, such as the version attribute, which is used by uh, optimistic lo locking. And we will set up also some title, which is a, a string attribute. All these attributes will represent the table that will be available in the database. And these attributes will also map into an um, ADA code. So now we will also set up some tagged values that allows to customize uh, the generation and uh, here the dynamo table name tag value allows to specify the name of the SQL uh, table associated to our question uh, class. <coughs> the text attribute uh, also needs some customization if we want to uh, store very long text we can specify here the length of the text column in the database. Most attributes don't need these tagged values and we can use standard UML uh, properties. For example, the update date attribute can be null, so we, we specify the multiplicity as 0 or 1. Now let's create uh, the answer table. So we have questions and answers. So the answer is also a table. So we uh, assign it the table stereo stereotype. We have to give it an ID, of course. And the version. The answer contains, of course, some text, and this is a string. Of course, the author, the author's name, which is also a string, and we have to specify the primary key, the version stereotype for the version column. And that's it. About tag values, we give the name of the table. We will use demo underscore answer. So th this will affect the way the SQL is generated. And now we associate <coughs> the question and the answer. So the question can have several answers. We have to give a name to this relation. In fact, this relation name is free. It will not be used for the ADA code generation. And we will see that we need to give a name to the AND association here. So this is the name that will be used in the ADA code 
to refer to the question element. The multiplicity must be set carefully for both hands. Now we can save the project and generate uh, the, uh, the model and uh, SQL files with the generate command. It's simple, just run dynamo generate db which is a directory that will contain the result and give the argo yaml file. Here we'll see that it has generated some ADA file as well as SQL file. And here in ADA we have two types, questions underscore ref, answers underscore ref. These are the two types that we will use in our ADA applications. And here we have generated the SQL files, the, the schema files that we can use to create the database. So now the next step is to create the database. And we can use Dynamo for this. This is simple. We can just use the create database command from Dynamo. We have to specify the database type. In, in my case, this is uh, MySQL. Uh, the, uh, the host is local host. I'm using the uh, local port 3306. The name of my database is demo. And the user who will connect to, my, to this database is also demo. And to create this database, we need some specific privileges. So I will have to specify the administrator uh, name, root. So my database is created, and we can see uh, its content. This is very simple and straightforward. Thank you for listening.